Interesting. Okay. So we've got that. Now let's talk about Augustus's legacy. And then I want to get into the Aeneid because I, I had a take on that that I wanted to go over with you. Uh, and I'm trying to, if I had to write on a whiteboard, what boil it down to one word or a sentence or a concept, what would Augustus's legacy be? What would the marketing campaign ad be to tell you about whatever his legacy is, good or bad? What What would you go with? Yeah, I mean, I think what he would like us to remember is peace and stability. Um, and there's some truth to that. Like Rome does not have a civil war for another, I mean, the next civil war is in 69. So, you know, it's almost a hundred years later. Um, Rome didn't lose any foreign territory under his rule. The economy was stabilized. The birth rate increased largely because of his, his morality legislation. Um, so, so what I think his uh, slogan would be, would be like, yeah, like peace and prosperity, peace and stability. Um, uh, for me as a historian, kind of watching how it unfolds, not just immediately after his death, but kind of, you know, the slow slide into uh, ruin once again, um, uh, is it, it, his legacy for me is a question, which is, uh, what is the price of stability? In the case of the Romans, they never had, uh, they lost their democratic republic. I mean, they had sham elections uh, for the next, you know, several, um, several decades, couple hundred years. But the Roman people were never politically free again. Um, now, if I'm uh, you know, Rufus Minimus living on my, you know, crappy farm in Campania or wherever, do I care that elections are a sham? Well, probably not, because A, I probably didn't get to vote anyhow. You have to go to Rome in person to vote, and I can't leave my farm for whatever, three days. And what I know is that my son isn't getting conscripted to fight in a civil war. I don't have soldiers um, kicking me off my property um, to uh, to settle veterans there. And I have food because our grain supply is restored. So, you know, when I look at it as a historian, I say, you know, what, what was the price of this stability? Well, they lost their, what the Romans called libertas, their political freedom. But I, I don't know how much the ordinary Roman cared. Um, but it is an interesting, I guess by interesting, I mean horrifying um, thing to think about 